What is up, everybody? Thanks for checking out Hunt, Shoot, Live. I truly am super pumped about this episode. Been waiting on this one for a little while. I've had several of you guys comment on my other videos, wanting to know where this review is at. I've got the Gamo Swarm Magnum Gen 2 22 cal, and I am going to shoot this car door. Now, for those of you who've been following the channel, and I'll put a link in the video here so that you can uh, reference the previous video if you didn't, but I've got a video with the, actually, the same vehicle, just the door on the opposite side. I took my Gamo Swarm Magnum 17 cal Gen 3, and I did a penetration test on that door. Said I was going to do it with the Gen 2 22 cal, now it's that time. So I have the same type of door because it's from the exact same vehicle, just the other side. I'm going to shoot the same pellets. I'm going to do five of each. I've got the Hornets, I've got the Red Fires, and the Crossman Hollow Points. I'm going to shoot five of each from right to left. I'm going to do this video a little different. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot five, 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 and then we will come and look at it, and then we'll do our point blank tests. Just to give you a little reminder from last time, the only pellet that did worth the crap, really, was the Hornets. That's not a shocker. The Hornets still, though, at 20 yards, and I'm still, I'm going to stand in the same place back here that I did the last time. It's 20 yards. Um, even, even up close point blank, the Hornets did not get a double pass through, through both layers. The Hornets, though, did all five penetrate the first side, and then we had one dent the back. Um, so, I mean, pretty underwhelming. But uh, let's, let's shoot this thing, and then I'll compare the results a little closer once we have all of the data. So, here we go. Gamo Swarm Magnum Gen 2 22 cal. We're going to do the H&N Hornets. We're going to do the Gamo Red Fires. Then we're going to do the Crossman Hollow Points. Five shots each from 20 yards. Okay, I'm set up 20 yards. Now, this is the exact same spot that I stood in when I did the test with the Gamo Swarm Magnum 17 Gen 3. So now we are going to do the Gamo Swarm Magnum Gen 2 22 cal. Got the door. You see it right there. So I will be standing from here shooting 20 yards. For you guys, I'm going to zoom in tight on the door, though. Okay, five shots with the Hornets. Five shots with the red fires, 20 yards. Five shots with the Crossman hollow points, 20 yards. Now, just for good measure here, I've got the Gamo Rockets. I did not test those with the 17. I've got them for the 22, so I'm going to go ahead and give those a try shooting on that far left-hand side there. So, five shots, Gamo Rockets, 20 yards. I realize I forgot to give you guys my prediction before I shot. Now, I've not looked at it yet to know. If you want to go back and dig in the comments on my other video with the Gen 3 I-17, you can certainly find where I have said that I do not think the 22 is going to do any better. Yes, it has a bigger, heavier pellet, but it's not shooting any faster. This is the same system. It's the same system with a bigger pellet, so it's probably a lot slower. So, if anything, 
I expect that it won't do as good as the 17 did. So now let's see what it actually did. Okay, so we're on the right hand side of the door where I started with the Hornets. We have three that pass through. One is stuck right there in it, and the other one bounced off. It did not perform as well as the 17. The 17, all five shots from 20 yards with the Hornets, with the 17, passed completely through the one side. So already it did not perform as well as the 17 did. Now, the Hornets by far with the 17, there, was, there were no pass-throughs with the 17 with any of the other pellets. So if we have any pass-throughs at all with the other pellets, then we've got a little bit better performance randomly for some reason. So let's see what we got next. Got the red fires next. One, two, three, four, and five. So they all bounced off. And then we got the Crossman hollow points. One, two, three, four, and five with all bouncing off. The Rockets, one, and it's actually stuck in it. It's right there. Well, that's cool. Yeah, how about that? So not a pass through to, ah, so that one did um, go through one layer, I can see. Here's another one stuck in it right there. The BB stayed in it. Here is the, another one stayed in it right there. The BB did poke on through. And that one did pass through. So we've got, uh, we've got three one side pass throughs with the rockets. And again, now I did not have I did not have the rockets with the 17. I only have those for my 22 or for the 22, so uh, no no comparison there. But as far as the um, the other three, the red fire was the same as the 17. No pass throughs. The hollow points were the same. No pass throughs. The hornets performed better in the 17. All of them passed through, and only three of them passed through with the 22. So let's check the other side. Okay. So the Hornets would have been over here. You can see our pass-throughs there with the Hornets. And uh, there's no dents at all on this side. We did have one dent from the 17 on the second layer. So nothing on the second layer with the 22. And certainly none of the others passed through at all, except over here with the Rockets. Now interesting, interesting. Here is some of the pass-throughs. And look right there. And there. So it seems like the Rockets actually, as far as maintaining their force, performed a little better than the Hornets did. Because even though we had five pass-throughs with the Hornets um, on the front side, we had no indentations on the other side. But there were two of those indentations from the from the rockets, so it must have continued with a little more energy. That BB on the, on the front of it, I guess, just helps it to not deform so bad, and it was able to maintain some energy. So, let's do point blank now. Same pellets, point blank. Right hand side, point blank with the Hornets. Okay, point blank with the red fires. Point blank with the Crossman hollow points.
And last but not least, the Gamo Rockets, point blank. All right, over here we got the Hornets. I guess those are all, everything, everything passed through at point blank. So all the Hornets, yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So all of the Hornets point blank passed through. Um, none of the Red Fires passed through. Looks like two of the hollow points like dented it a little bit, broke the metal like they wanted to pass through, but they didn't. And then point blank with the rockets. Wow, that's cool. I could shredded that. Pass through. Pass through. Pass through. So all pass-throughs. Let's look at the back. Right over here we got the Hornet side. Nothing, no indentations. And we did have indentations uh, with the 17 on the back side. Of course, obviously the others didn't do anything. Dented it a little bit. Uh, but then over here the Rockets, we did get some second side ind indentations on those pass-throughs. So that is very cool. Well, so really just what I expected. I think the only surprise to me is that those rockets perform better. They seem to penetrate better than the Hornets. I'm, I'm a fan of the Hornets, man. They're just wicked looking, uh, which, is, which is funny because I'm totally judging a book by its cover. The Hornets look wicked. Uh, but those rockets are solid penetrators. They really are. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed this test. Uh, not surprised just remember you got to look at what you're working with here it's not just a bigger caliber and a and faster speed it's a bigger caliber with the same speed so it's just going so much slower than what the 17 is that does not mean that the 22 is not an awesome pellet rifle but uh, it definitely means it's it's not going to penetrate as well it's just not hitting as hard not as hard so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please share your comments and your experiences. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Become a part of the Hunt, Shoot, Live team. Check out all of our other playlists. we got tons of stuff on the channel other than just pellet rifle stuff. Appreciate you. God bless you. We'll catch you next time.